Hi. Now we know what is central force. And today we are discussing about central force motion as a one body problem. Central force motion as a one body problem. Okay. Okay. For to solve this, we want to consider two object. For example, this is one object and can be represented this is by using the letter A. A and another one is B and with respect to the origin O the position vector of A is R1 and with respect to O the position vector of B is R2 and the position vector of B with respect to A that is R. Clear? We consider two, two objects A and B and with respect to the origin O we gave its uh, position vectors value that is in the case of A that is R1 and B that is R2 and the position vector of B with respect to A that is R. Right? Okay. And now if we consider these two objects are moving are moving and also the B experience a central force due to the object A and also the A experience a central force due to the presence of object B. For example, if we consider the object A is sun and the object B that is earth and in this case we know sun and earth are interact each other due to its gravitational force of attraction. So sun attract earth towards the sun and also the earth attract sun towards the center of earth. So these are these two are mutually interacting. So in this case if we consider the particle A or sun attract the earth and the magnitude of that force is F. F uh, A B or 1 2 and if this is 1 and this is 2 the first object and second object then we can represent the 1 1 2 force 1 2 in same way the earth attracts sun towards the center of earth and that force can be represented by F21 right and the sun and the earth are moving with respect to the origin O. So the object first object and the second object are moving with respect to the origin. In that case according to Newton second law Newton second law of motion F is equal to M A F is equal to M A. So we consider the first particle the first particle what is force F12 F12 
वन टू एफ वन टू इज इक्वल टू मास इंडू एक्सलेशन एंड हाउ कैन बी कैलकुलेट दिस एक्सलेशन वी नो द ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट द ओरिजिन ओ सो द पोजिशन वैक्टर इज आर वन इफ इट इज मूविंग द पोजिशन वैक्टर विल चेंज सो बाई यूजिंग द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ दिस पोजिशन वैक्टर वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एक्सलेशन हाउ बिकॉज डी आर वन डी टी द आर वन डिफ्रेंशिएट विथ टाइम वी विल गेट द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड अगेन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट द आर वन मीन्स डी स्क्वायर आर वन डी टी स्क्वायर वी गॉट एक्सलेशन राइट सो वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन देन एफ वन टू बिकम एम वट इज एम इफ दिस इज एम वन मास ऑफ द ए दैट इज एम वन एंड मास ऑफ बी इफ इट इज एम टू देन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एफ इज एफ वन टू दैट इज इक्वल टू मास वट इज मास एम वन मास एम वन हियर मास एम टू सो एम वन इन टू एक्सलेशन डी स्क्वायर आर वन डी टी स्क्वायर कंसिडर दिस अवर इक्वेशन वन एंड सेम वे इन दिस केस ऑफ सेकेंड इन द केस ऑफ सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्ट वट इज फोर्स एफ टू वन एफ टू वन इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सलेशन वट इज एक्सलेशन सेम वे this is d square r1 dt square and here the position vector is r2 then d square r2 dt square is the acceleration of b and what is m m2 then f21 is equal to m2 into d square r2 d t square and this is our equation 2 and if we divide this equation 1 by m1 mass 1 mass first mass of the first object we divide this equation 1 by using mass of the object then we got f 1 to divided by m1 is equal to d square r1 divided by dt square because this will cancel and same way here we divided by using mass of second object object m2 then f21 divided by m2 is equal to d square r2 divided by dt square and this is our third equation and this is our fourth equation and consider here we have the position vector uh, between the b and a that is r and according to the vector summation rule we can write this r is equal to r1 plus r is equal to r2 the same direction r1 and r in same direction r2 in opposite direction so according to the summation of vectors we can write r1 plus r is equal to r2 r1 plus r r1 plus r is equal to r2 these two are in same direction this is the opposite direction so r2 then what is r r is equal to R two divide minus R one R is equal to R two minus R one. So we can rewrite this R is equal to R two minus R one. Right? And if we differentiate this R with respect to time at twice, what we get? We differentiate two times. Then R double dot is equal to R two double dot minus R one double dot. What is this? Differentiate at two times. 
with respect to time. So here we have the values of R2 twice differentiation and R1 twice differentiation with respect to time. What is R2? Here we got from the equation for this is equal to R twice differentiate with respect to time R2. And here this is equal to R1 twice differentiate with respect to time. So we have the value of R1 and R2. We can substitute these two values in this equation. Then what we will get R twice differentiation is equal to R2 means F21 divided by M2. This is the value of R2 double dot and minus what is R1 R1 twice differentiate with respect to time we got F12 divided by M1 F12 divided by M1 right and when we consider these two object A and B or 1 and 2 or Sun and Earth we know the magnitude of force of attraction on earth by sun is equal to the magnitude of the force of attraction on sun by the earth. But both are in opposite side. The sun, the earth attract the sun towards the center of earth in same way with same magnitude. The sun attract the earth towards the center of sun so both have same magnitude but in opposite direction same way here f21 f21 is equal to f12 f21 is equal to f12 in same way this f12 is equal to minus of F21 because the magnitude are equal but in opposite side. This is positive and this is negative. So F21 is equal to F12 but they are opposite in, it in direction. F12 is equal to minus F21. So we can replace this term by using Is equal to F21 divided by M2 minus minus of what is F21 divided by M1. So F12 and F21 are equal but in opposite side. So minus F21. So this is minus and here also minus and this will change as F21 divided by m2 plus minus minus plus plus f21 divided by m1 and here f21 f21 these two are common and we can write it as f21 1 by m2 plus 1 by m1 and is equal to f21 m1 plus m2 divided by m1 m2 m1 plus m2 divided by m1 m2 and shall i use this base okay equal to f21 into m1 plus m2 divided by m1 m2 and we multiplied this term 
or we are just replace this same in right side of the equal sign to left side then r into what is reverse m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 is equal to f21 is it clear we just take this value to right side of the equation sorry left side of the equation so this will become m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 right so this is the force right f21 is the force and what is m1 m2 we already know here if we differentiate the r with respect to time we got velocity and if we again differentiate the r1 with respect to time means d square r1 by dt square is equal to acceleration so here we differentiate the r with respect to t and twice means this equal to this is equal to force f21 represent the force and this r represent r double dot represent the acceleration of the object so here is equal sign so f is equal to a into mass right so f21 is equal to the force or f21 represent the force and r double dot represent the acceleration so according to newton second law f is equal to mass into acceleration then what is this m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 represent represent mass means we started this problem with two particle or two object one is a and another one is b in initial stage we consider two object but in final stage we can get this is an equation for one object because f is equal to m a this is the acceleration this is the force and this is the mass of this object means these two object consider has a one body one body we started with two object but in final stage we got a result of a equation in the form of newton second law f is equal to mass and acceleration and here mass represent the represent as one object so the central force motion as a one body problem one broad body problem right and this term m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 can be represented by using mu means mu r double dot is equal to force mu into to a differentiation of d square r by dt square is equal to f and this mu is equal to m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 and this mu is known as reduced mass reduced mass mu can be called as reduced mass and a physical to mu d square r by dt square right so this is the central force motion as a one body problem we started with two bodies but in final result we got an expression of one body one body right okay